Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Well, the mighty Jerome Powell is poised and is basically determined to tank the U.S. into further recession. What do I mean by that? I mean, it's not really what he said. He essentially said in Jackson Hole what people expected him to say, but it's the way he said it. He warned of further pain for Americans that will be initiated by him. Even though interest rates are at 2%, which is kind of like in that area where it's not really restrictive, but not really conducive for growth, he says they will raise it further, and there is no reason to stop here. So he is determined to pwn America just because he wants to control inflation, which is actually a pretty good reason. But he said he will, the Fed will not be swayed by a month or two of data. So what he means is it doesn't really matter that last month we came down from inflation and this month we may come down from inflation too. He is willing to raise the rates as high as could be in order uh, to actually combat the inflation for as long as possible. So what this means is we could get more than one or two more interest rate hikes. He could be hiking for the foreseeable future. Now, my guess is September, it'll still be 50 or 75 basis point raise. I'm more favoring towards 75 now. But the speech was very, very brief. And the main thing is Jerome Powell warned of much pain to come. So that was a, that is why the market is down 700 points. Now, do I think the market will bounce back and recover next week? Yes, I do actually think the market will bounce back re and recover because he didn't really say like how much he would raise interest rates. And at the end of September, if he only raises by 50 basis points in order for the midterms, I do think the market will actually bounce back. But he did actually say that the uh, consecutive interest rates totaling 2.25 percentage points is no place to stop or pause, meaning that he will do everything in his power to raise it as much and cause as much pain as possible. We are moving our policy stance purposely to a level that will be sufficiently restrictive to return to inflation of 2%. They're probably going to go to 4% or even higher, perhaps, uh, by like mid-2023 to restrict the economy and basically maybe weaken both the jobs market and the consumer market where they will force prices down. Now, that will be made harder by the Russian war and, of course, Europe uh, having ha uh, gas prices highly inflated. But they are not being swayed by a couple of months of data. So there could be plenty of pain ahead. Now, I still don't think Bitcoin will really dump past like our previous lows of 17,000. You can even see... Uh, that Bitcoin right now is still above 20,000 despite this painful news. And I do think it'll probably bounce back above 21,000 uh, next week as the markets absorb this news. Because he didn't actually say he would raise like uh, interest rates by like 100 basis points or whatever. I expect this to be kind of temporary. But everything else is down right now, but not all that much. So this is a good time to buy, in my opinion. So that's the news for the day. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.